Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem one from the hacker rank hour rank 29 contest entitled customized chessboard. The problem states, since all chess boards available in the market are 8x8 boards, Alex decides to paint a customized M by N board. Given the painted chess board, can you tell if it is painted correctly or not? A chess board is considered valid if every two adjacent cells are painted with different colors. Two cells are considered adjacent if they share a boundary. And then it shows you two figures, figure one and figure two, and states that chess board in figure one is painted correctly, although chess board in figure two is not. And for this problem, we're going to be given uh, between one to five test cases, which is T and then n, the uh, size of our board in terms of the number of rows and columns is going to be between 1 and 100. So we don't need to worry about time complexity too much for this problem. And it's a very straightforward problem, so this is going to be a pretty short video. Basically, we just need to do uh, two sets of nested loops, uh, row major uh, traversal and then a column major traversal, and check that for each of these that the elements next to each other are not equal. If at any point they are equal, we know it's not a valid board, so we can just return no. And if you get through both of these nested for loops and uh, you haven't seen any elements that are equal to each other that are adjacent, then you can return yes. So let's take a look at the code for this solution. So at the top of our solution here, we just have two macros for our two for loops that we're going to need. Uh, it just makes it uh, faster to write your code. And then we have our function solve, which takes in a vector vector of integers representing our chessboard. And we're going to return a string, which is either going to be yes or no. And uh, on our first line, we're just storing the size of our rows and columns uh, in N. And then we have our nested for loops, one for the row major traversal and one for the column major traversal. Uh, the first one is the row major. And you can see here that we're just going from 0 to N. And then on the inner loop, we're going from 1 to N. And that's because we're going to be looking at the element uh, before the current element we're looking at. So uh, we look at the element in uh, at IJ. And if that's equal to the element at IJ minus 1, we know that we need to return no. Once we do this, we go to our column major tra traversal, same idea, but now we're just swapping where I and J is. So J is going to be for the uh, rows and I is, or sorry, J is going to be now for the column and I is going to be for the row. And uh, we do the same thing, just looking at J and then J minus one. If at any point uh, these two are equal, we return no. And if you can get through these two nested for loops, uh, you know you have a valid board, so you just return yes. So that's all there is to it. Um, it's worth noting that you can uh, use a algorithm at least for the first loop and that's uh, using the adjacent find algorithm so this basically does exactly what you'd think it finds uh, any two elements that are equal with equal to each other. So if this uh, returns the uh, past the last element, that means it didn't find any. So if we know that if it doesn't return this, then it's found two that are uh, equal and adjacent. So return no. Um, but there's no easy way really to uh, replace the second for loop, a nested for loop with an algorithm without sort of transforming uh, because you need to uh, have a data or a container that you can use this algorithm on and uh, hopping from, you know, row to row and comparing just uh, what's in each column is not uh, is not trivial so i prefer this solution it's faster and it's a little bit uh, clearer to understand and the last thing to talk about is the time complexity which for this problem is going to be quadratic in the length of our row or linear in the total number of squares in our chessboard as always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.